So that's a deepener. So you know, you can always you can use anything. You know, any sound that's happening is just going to make it go deeper. Now I want to do one more thing before we practice. Okay. okay. And that is, I would just like a volunteer for a moment. I'm going to troubleshoot the Dave Elman induction. The client. Okay. Oh. Here, wait. <laughs> Men always have a blanket for the ladies. Oh, it's Thank true. You. It's true. Yes. No, no. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Hi, and what's your name? There. Today. Yes. Hi, today. Yes, Cheryl. Nice to meet you. So, today she is going to be what we call, I hope I can say this word here, the client from hell. Ah, the client from hell. Okay. So, she's not going to She's not going to cooperate in, and so she's not going to do everything with, that I ask. Okay. So, when I were to do, you know, in a moment I would have you take a deep breath. And notice she closed her eyes. Oh, yeah. I would have her close, open her eyes again because I want her to follow my directions. So now, go ahead and take a deep breath. And when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes now. Close your eyes to the point, don't go into hypnosis, uh, to the point that they just don't want to work. And when you're sure they just don't want to work, go ahead and give them a little tug and prove to yourself. Now, go ahead and open them. Open them. Okay? And she opens them. That's right. You just proved to yourself that you are in control. <laughs> and now, I would like you to go ahead and close your eyes and prove to yourself that they will not work, okay, or cannot work. But you proved to yourself that they can, okay? So, go ahead and close your eyes and pretend that they just don't want to work. And when you're sure they just don't want to work, go ahead and give them a little test and tug and prove to yourself that they just don't want to work. Go ahead and open them again. Go ahead. No, don't be so cooperative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and open them. Okay, so maybe the second time, or here's another thing you could say. Uh, so one of the things you might want to do is, we all knew how to pretend as children. And then pretend. So now I'd like you to go ahead and, you know, I know that I can open my eyes at any time, as you do too. So what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and just feel what it would feel like if pretending they wouldn't open and feel what that feels like. You know, so now they're getting the feel of what that feels like. Or using some glue and almost as if they were glued uh, shut. A lot of times if they are still opening their eyes, there may be some fear that you have yeah, not covered. Yeah, 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 there could be yeah, yeah. some trust, maybe Absolutely. building some that's more rapport. That's right, that's right. You know, um, so because there's... The first step is also a test for client. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, um, you might just want to stop and go back to the free talk. Using the word test for some people is like a challenge. Absolutely. So, yeah. getting rid of the word test, I like to use to the word prove to yourself, and to yourself, you know, exactly. as opposed to okay. a test. So now we're to the next, okay. the next one, okay. and we do the fractionation. Usually, not much problem on the fraction. I like to sit here so I can see the eyes when they open, and you can see <coughs> how how the eyes are looking. The mm -hmm. eyes start to look very hypnotized. They get red, a little watery. Uh, so I like to see when I'm... So the next part is, in a moment I'm going to lift this hand by the wrist, and don't help me. So go ahead and close your eyes as if you... But you will remember everything I say. Go ahead and close your eyes. You don't have to go there. Just pretend that you're being hypnotized. And so, in a moment I'm going to...